This is a companion video to the Be Credible textbook on searching for public company records using the Edgar database on the Securities and Exchange Commission website. One of the easiest ways to get into the database is to search for Edgar SEC and clicking on the first non-add link that comes up. There are two search bars on this page. We can search by company name and by the ticker symbol. I have found it easier to search by the ticker symbol because sometimes the company name we use on a day-to-day -day basis isn't the same as the official company name under which documents are filed in Edgar. Let's say that I want to search for documents filed by Chipotle. Let's switch back to Google for a second and look up the company's ticker symbol. Scanning the company's summary on the right side of the results page, I make a note that its ticker symbol is CMG. Back in Edgar, I type CMG in the fast search box. What comes up is a fairly unattractive list of documents, but this is exactly what we want the search results to look like. Double check that the company we are looking for is the company whose documents are listed here. Chipotle Mexican Grill, Inc., headquartered in Denver. Yes, this is the burrito company I was looking for. Let's scroll down the list of documents and see what's here. This list can look pretty unfriendly and hard to decipher. The key to understanding what's here is knowing what these symbols mean. As you know, government agencies name all forms they use with specific codes. So if you work, every year you get a W-2 form from your workplace. You then use the W-2 to do your taxes by filling out a form 1040 or 1040EZ. Like the codes we use to refer to various tax-related forms, the codes in the left column of the table in the Edgar search results refer to the specific forms that this company has filed with the SEC. There are three forms that are most informative for our purposes, the 10K, the 10Q, and the DEF 14A. The first informative form is the 10K, a company's annual report. You can scroll down the list and locate the latest 10K. These files are arranged chronologically from the most recent to the oldest. Here's the most recent 10K for 2017. And here's the next one for 2016. Of course, depending on when you're watching this video, this may not be the most recent document on your list. You can also type 10K into the filing type box at the top and press search. This will show you only the 10Ks going back to 2006. Pressing show all will bring you back to the full list of documents. To get into any of these documents, click on the link that says documents. This brings us to another list of difficult to understand links, but what always works for me on this page is that I click the first link available because these files are arranged with the main document first and then supporting files below it. So clicking on this link brings me to Chipotle's 10K for 2017. In the next video, we will cover how to read the 10K and the DEF 14A. So feel free to browse through this document on your own or come back after watching the next video.